Hi folks, thanks for stopping by and welcome back to my YouTube channel Czechoslovak Gun Stories. So have you ever been wondering what does the three letter code on your Czechoslovak firearm mean? Well, let's find out. Okay guys, uh, before we start, uh, let's make one thing clear. This video will only discuss the firearms made in the post-war comic era between 1948 and 1989. There might be some similar uh, markings in the pre-war and wartime period, but we will discuss those another time. Here on the table I have my uh, VZ58 uh, uh, carbine, uh, which I will use just for demonstration uh, of one of the codes. Um, so, uh, I've heard some rumors that the code names uh, can be sort of decoded, like that the TGF code means uh, Czechoslovakische Gewerfabrik uh, in Brno, which is not correct. It would, after all, sort of be the purpose completely. The idea was to hide the production place, so as you see shortly, uh, it was really next to impossible to work out uh, what factory your gun was produced at. Also, worth mentioning, before the war, there were many factories, like privately owned factories, so it was uh, slightly easier to figure out uh, where your gun was made. It was Česká zbrovka, Strakonice, zbrovka, Brno, Zbrovka Praga in Prague. After the war, all those surviving companies, large as well as small ones, were nationalized and everything became more and more centralized and uh, more importantly uh, classified. For that purpose, there was a system of three-letter codes developed and uh, actually any equipment in the army was using uh, such code, uh, be it a firearm, ammo, even the cheapest mask kit, uh, every soldier was issued with had some code. Uh, that code was heavily based uh, on the wartime German codes, but obviously the codes themselves changed. It's also important to mention that you'll only find those codes on a military firearms. So in case of the uh, police um, issued firearms or the commercial sales firearms, uh, you won't find these codes uh, on these guns because obviously uh, that's uh, a completely different ministry uh, under which these guns were sold and serving. So uh, this only actually applies to the guns that were in use by the Ministry uh, of Defense. So. Uh, let's have a look at the most common codes. First one is uh, BXN. This is a code name uh, for the Vlashi Munitions Factory, uh, better known as uh, Cellular Belot these days. If you also have uh, an ammo that is marked AYM, that's uh, the ammo that was uh, produced in Povarske Strarne in today's Slovakia. For guns themselves, the most common would be SHE. That is Česká zbrojovka factory in Uherský Brod. Uh, you should find this code uh, on your VZ-58 rifles, also VZ-52 rifles, uh, as well as VZ-61 scorpions, if they were adopted by the army and not the police. Also, VZ-82 pistols that served in the military uh, will bear the SHE code, um, and also the VZ-23, 4, 5 and 6 uh, line of submachine guns. These are the most common, however, I'm sure there is more firearms uh, bearing these marks. Then uh, another code, TGF, that will be a marking for uh, Zbrojovka Brno, uh, which produced the Mauser-based rifles especially, uh, but also uh, the VZ-52 universal machine guns bear this code because they were uh, created and produced here. Uh, once again, uh, this does not stand for Czechoslovakische Gewerfabrik, that's, that's fake. Next code is RID, and uh, this code was used only shortly uh, on the guns that were produced by Česká zbrojovka Strakonice. It can be found on VZ-52 pistols that were made there. However, uh, this factory uh, was closed in 1953 for the production of firearms, and it was uh, actually forced to refocus on the motorbikes. Also, it's worth mentioning that uh, VZ-50 pistols were uh, produced here, as well as VZ-27 pistols, but both these firearms um, were not in use by the army, but by the police, so once again they will not bear this code. Another code is CZO, and it is a code for uh, Zbrojovka v Setin. Uh, you can find uh, the marking CZO uh, on your UK-59 
uh, or VZ-59 universal machine gun. If you are lucky enough to get your hands on some rare rather prototype guns, uh, they may bear uh, code uh, GRV, which belongs to Constructa Brno, which was a firearms development center in Brno, where many of our far famous designers worked, like Václav Volek, Kotsky Brothers, or Jiří Čermák, the father of our beloved VZ-58 rifle. Some of your VZ-24 rifles may also bear a code of FUT, which stands for Adamovské strojírny, but that would be more like uh, pre-war wartime and maybe very early post-war production because uh, shortly after the war uh, the firearms production was um, sort of ceased there. If you own an ammo for Czechoslovak flare guns, the cartridge cases may bear a code IRV, which stands for uh, Vlarské strojírny národní podnik Bojkovice, later known as Zeveta Bojkovice. The factory uh, works until these days and produces, uh, for example, URG-86 grenades or RPG-75 original Czechoslovak rocket launchers. So, that's about it for the coding of the Czechoslovak uh, military firearms. Uh, guys, if you have any other codes on your firearms and you're wondering where your garden was produced, let me know down in the comment section and we can work it out. Also, if you have any other questions, remarks, feedback, anything, Use the comment section, I'll be replying to your posts uh, on daily basis. If you like the video or subscribe to my channel, that will also make me very happy. So thank you for that in advance. And that's it for today. So until next time.